Welcome back. In the previous video, we created our ugly love bar like that. So what we are going to do now is to tackle the theming part of Material UI to change the color of our nav bar and change the font and other sides inside Material UI. So let's get started. Before we continue, let's look at the final point we have. That we see that we change the colors of Material UI to suit our application need. So let's get started. So before that, let me show you where we are going to start from. On Material UI website, click on customization and scroll down and you see default theme. Click on default theme and as you can see under explore, explore the default theme object. This is the object we are going to talk to to change the style inside our Material UI project. So as you can see by default, Material UI exposed these APIs some APIs to talk to to change the styles of this and this is what we are going to do but before that let's look at this object and its properties what it does very good so we are going to talk with the first one is the breakpoint the breakpoint gives you the pixels or the view of your browser when you reach some point maybe you can hide some content or whatever to make it responsive and you will tackle this one and we have what is called a palette the palette is the most important for us now because this contains the colors inside our application. Under common, so we have black and white, and under proper color, for main, we have the blue. As you can see, by default, this is what we have. When we change, let's go back to our nav bar, and then when we change the color of our out bar, I didn't apply it in color here, so we can change that. Don't worry, let's go back to the code. One more time and for secondary color is what main and when you scroll down under typography where is it let me scroll collapse this and then here as you can see typography gives you the font size and the font width of our uh, text inside our application so we're going to talk to some APIs to change these styles so let's get back to code so inside our project let's create a new folder called utils and inside utils let's create one file called theme.js excellent so in here we are going to make use of api for material ui and that api is called create material ui theme so let's import it import let's grab it from material ui slash core and what we need here is called create material ui theme this is going to help us to customize the colors and other styles inside our material ui so let's create a function okay even an object a function and then you export it so let's say cons and let's name this one a theme equal to and let's make use of the create material ui theme and this takes in a couple of um, objects. Okay, so first is a palette. As you can see, we are going to tackle this one. Where is it? This palette object and change. See, on a palette, we have what is called primary and we have secondary. So let's do that. So on the palette, it's an object and in there, we have the primary color. Okay, so let's make it red as that. And then it's an object, sorry. And a primary color, let's go over again. And a primary color, as you can see, it's an object with this text main, dark, and light. So, as that, and let's tackle the main. That's what we need. So, let's make it, let's say, yellow. Okay, for now, let's do something. So, next, let's export it so that we can use it inside our application. So let's export the theme here. We haven't finished yet, but I just wanted to know how it's working and then we come back to it. So let's export theme. What we have done here is that we have changed only the, the primary color of material UI. So after we export it, 
let's go over inside our parent component file called app and wrap another API from Material UI and pass in our theme inside. So what we need now is what? Theme provider. Okay, auto import. Let me see if it is working well. Excellent. But let me import my React application at the top and then all the import below my React import. Very good. So we have the theme provider. We are going to wrap this theme provider inside our application, our main file. So here, instead of div, let's wrap here with what theme provider. And in here, it takes in one prop, and the prop is called theme. All right, and then let's pass in the theme we created. I think I can have auto import. Excellent, I have it, my auto import like that. So now that we have wrapped our application with theme provider, we have access to our customization inside our application. All right, so let's head over to our components, our outbar, and try to change the color of our project. So here, let's head over to navbar. And for appbar, it also accepts some couple of props. And the prop you are going to make use now is called the color. Okay, so let me make use of the color. And then what we need is called the primary color. Save it. Let's go back to application. As you can see, material I on support yellow color. We have to use the format RGBA like that. So let's go to a beautiful a website called Coolest dot co and then you can get nice colors from there so you can make use of any color you want but don't use a static color like that so we are going to make use of rgba or any form of color apart from this static one so what i'm going to use for the project is called 003049 so save it go back to application as you can see let's save it one more time boom we have it we've changed the color of our application to this color like dark blue so that's how you tackle what the colors in material eye and we can change the secondary color too and also accept an object and on the main let's change the color to hash d six two eight two eight as that so when you change it to let's say um my navbar to secondary color let's see what we have that's what we have and let's apply some colors to that's what we have right now okay so guys that is how we what customize the colors inside our material UI theme and we will talk about another property called typography inside so now that you know the how it works we can dive in here and look at the syntax and the property structure of your property you want to change and you can start it we will tackle the typography in the next lesson or in the upcoming videos so guys this is how we what we use theming in material ui let me change it back to my primary color like that to have the same as my final project. So guys, this is how we do it. So next lesson, we will start working with the drop down as that.